In my previous video, I used the Creality Falcon 2 Pro Laser to make these custom pegboard hook solutions for my workshop. In this video, I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail regarding the Creality Falcon 2 Pro Laser, showcase some of the features that I think are great for both beginner and professional alike, and explain why I think every shop should consider having a laser in it by sharing what I think are the top five uses for a laser in the workshop. <laughs> If you're new here, then g'day, hello. My name's Anthony and welcome to Barber's Paddock. I started my woodworking journey a few years ago as a creative outlet to try and get through the global pandemic and all of the lockdowns. And during that, I fell in love with the hobby and the process. So for the last two-ish odd years, I've been fitting out my very first workshop that you see here and bringing you along the journey as I learn a little bit more about woodworking, as I gain skills and confidence, and I share that journey with everyone here on the internet. When I first got into woodworking, owning a laser was probably the furthest tool that I had on my list of needs and wants for the workshop. YouTube and the internet was full of videos of showing how lasers could be great side hustle devices used for making extra income on the side. And that was something I wasn't really interested in doing. So I've always put lasers in the category of something completely unnecessary for a workshop. So what's changed since then? Well, late last year I was approached and asked, well, do you want to give lasers a try? And my initial reaction was, no! Wasn't really interested in it and it wasn't something that I thought was going to be useful for the shop. But I didn't want to be closed minded and here I had an opportunity to learn about a technology and have access to a tool that normally I wouldn't have access to. And so I did say yes in the end. And being completely honest and truthful here, it's probably one of the best decisions that I made. In the end, the laser has opened up so many opportunities and so many possibilities as well as being one of the most useful and versatile tools in the shop that I can't see me in the future being without one in my workshop. So I wanna share with you the five things that I've found so far that for me make the laser absolutely indispensable in the workshop. So the first great thing that I think lasers are amazing for is prototyping. If you've followed my channel historically, you know that I love to build solutions or come up with solutions that I've made myself. Perfect examples of this is the dust collection system where I made my own pipe fittings and accessories and adapters for that, as well as making my own magnetic couplers. Same with the pegboard system. I went through many prototypes before I finally settled on the final solution for the hook system for it. But probably my favorite one is the dust hood cover for the table saw that you see here. It serves two purposes, the obvious first one being to extract as much dust from the blade as possible, but also serves as an additional safety mechanism, which makes a perfect segue to talk about some of the safety features of the Falcon 2 Pro. Nice segue. Lasers are generally grouped into classes, and those classes have very little or nothing really to do with the performance of the laser, and everything to do with the level of safety those lasers have. Class 4 is the lowest level of laser and it's the most common amongst entry level or beginner laser machines. And effectively what it's saying is that it's not enclosed or doesn't have some of the safety mechanisms to ensure that the laser beam is kept as far away or out of the user's eyes as possible. Which is why most class 4s will ship with things like this. Safety glasses. And while they're not greatest fashion statement, they are a very important safety feature because they will save your eyes in case of exposure to a laser. Thankfully, the Falcon 2 Pro is a class one laser. And as you can see, it's completely enclosed in its own enclosure. And it's also protected with this film that stops any of the nasty light being reflected into my eyes. So it means that when I'm working in the shop, I don't need the glasses. And this is a benefit for me because it means that I can safely work on other projects in the shop without being distracted or limiting my visibility by wearing the glasses. Another cool safety feature on the enclosure is the lid. So as you can see, we have a blue light indicating the lid is down, but if we were to lift it up, it turns red. So when the light is red, if the laser is on, it will cut the laser and it will not allow you to restart it unless you then Re-engage the lid and we have blue lights again. My second favorite thing with lasers has to be this, drawer organization. You may have heard me in other videos talk about my dislike for drawers because I tend to feel like they're places where things go to get lost, hidden or to be forgotten. 
It's also part of the reason why I don't really like deep drawers. I feel like the more that you stack on top of it, the more likely you're never gonna see those items ever again. But what the Creality has allowed me to do is to create boxes and trays that perfectly fit the drawer space. This means that there's absolutely no wasted space and everything that I need is at easy reach. Perfect example here are my screws, which each individual box can come out and is easily accessible. Same with more screws. Don't forget nails. And of course, let's not forget our Craig jig. So let me show you one that I've just finished very recently for this particular drawer. And this drawer holds a lot of my drill bits, uh, my Forstner bits, spade bits, everything related to my drill presses. So let's have a look at my drill press drawer. And as you can see, we have an assortment of drill bits, Forstner bits, spade bits, etc. But they are much more accessible now. Each has their own little tray. I can even make trays within trays. So these are trays that sit within this tray. None of it's glued in. They can be pulled out. I can take them over to work pieces if I have to. And even storage that's underneath here. So we can push this tray back, which reveals other trays underneath. So I can grab my drill press sanding kit, slide it back in there and slide the tray back in place. So the laser allows so much flexibility and so much customization that uh, this alone, this one feature is something that I think, I don't think I could go without. And speaking of drawers, here is another feature of the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. So when you're working with materials, as is always the case, you're always gonna have small pieces that are gonna fall down uh, below the surface of the laser, get trapped underneath. So the Creality has its own drawer, which is super handy. It means that you can retrieve little pieces that have lost under there, clean it out, and then be lasering again straight away. So that's a really nifty feature. Um, it saved me a lot of time having to clean out the bottom tray in the previous laser. Um, with the integrated drawer, it makes it really easy. And that leads me into my third favorite thing, and that's templating. Templating is one of the most common things that you'll do in woodworking. Effectively, you'll take a template of a shape that you wanna cut out. You'll attach it to a piece of wood. Then over at the router table, you will trim around that shape following the pattern or the template using a pattern router bit. This is a very common technique, and it's a great way if you need to batch out a whole bunch of parts that need to be identical. Now, creating the templates itself can be very time consuming. And often in some cases, those templates can only be used as a one-off, which is why having a laser is really useful. You can cut out the shapes that you need as a template on the laser. And if something happens to those templates, well, you can just simply cut them out again. I've used this technique a lot. And the most recent build where I used it extensively is the rocking horse that I made for my niece. And of course you can check that video out here. So templating on the laser is incredibly useful, incredibly powerful, and it means that I can replicate the template over and over again. Doesn't matter if I lose the template, if it gets damaged in the process, I just simply make another one. Number four on my list is actually probably something that might be a bit surprising, but it's actually saving timber. Every woodworker to some degree has an element of hoarding in them when it comes to timber. We save every tiny little scrap, every tiny morsel of timber because, well, it's expensive and we don't wanna miss out on that opportunity to use that perfect piece. Ever since I got the laser in the workshop, the number of small projects, off-cut pieces I can use has increased. And I found that lasers are a great way to use up some of those odd pieces of timber or some of those off-cuts that you would actually normally throw away as being not useful. There are so many projects that you can do with even the tiniest of offcuts. The pegboard solution is a classic example of that. I didn't buy a single piece of MDF for that. Those were all cut from the strangest of offcuts you probably would imagine. I mentioned this before in my previous video, but one of my favorite features of the Creality is the built-in camera. Being able to position your cuts visually over the actual piece of wood that you're gonna cut from means that you're really going to maximize every square inch of timber. And lastly, number five on my list is customization. Now that's probably gonna come as a bit of a surprise considering my earlier comments. But if you think about the evolution of lasers and where they've come from and what they were originally designed to do, which is obviously engraving, then we can't overlook the flexibility that it gives us in the workshop. 
the ability to customize our own work, put a little bit of flair in things and make things like these membership coasters. So there you have it. Those are my top five reasons for having a laser in the workshop. Maybe let me know in the comments below what you would use a laser for in the workshop. And maybe this might help you decide on whether or not this is something that you would like in your shop. And if you are in the market for a laser, I can wholeheartedly endorse the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Especially for those who maybe are in the market for their next laser or an upgraded laser. Maybe you have an entry level 5, 10, 15 or 20 watt laser. You can't really go wrong with the uh, Creality here. If you are a beginner, it still has a lot of features, a lot of functionality, a lot of safety features as well. But if you are looking to spend a little bit less if it's your first delve into the world of lasers, then there's an entire range of lasers available through the Creality website. I'll also have links to some of the other workshop projects that I've completed that use the laser, such as the dust collection system, the dust hood for the table saw, and of course the pegboard system from the previous video. There are plans, light burn files, and other things available for all of those projects. And of course, all of those are completely free. If you did get some value from these videos or if you've used those files and made something cool, let me know about it. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing or maybe even becoming a channel member. I wanna thank Creality once again for sponsoring this video. I have a new project coming out very shortly, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.